Welcome to the first episode of Vault Log, a series all about Fallout Shelter, and today we're going to be figuring out which weapon is the best in the game. Now we're going to be comparing three weapons that are commonly brought up when people try to figure out which one's the best. We're going to be doing some field testing, and then at the end I'm going to give you my opinion on which one I think is the best. First off, we have the Dragon's Maw, which has damage values between 22 and 29 for an average of 25.5. Then we have the Fire Hydrant Bat, which has values between 19 and 31 for an average of 25. And we have the Merv, which has damage values between 22 and 27 for an average of 24.5. Now, as you can see, the average damage on the Dragon's Maw is the highest, and then next on the Hydrant Bat, and then lastly on the Merv. However, damage value doesn't mean everything, and we're going to be taking a look at the attack patterns of each of these weapons. And we'll start out the comparison with the Fire Hydrant Bat and the Dragon's Maw. So our first two characters here are going to have the Fire Hydrant Bat equipped, and our third one is going to have the Dragon's Maw equipped, and we're going to take a look at the gameplay mechanics of these weapons and try to determine which one has a more effective mechanic. We know which one has the better damage, but let's take a look at these mechanics here. So, first uh, scenario here, we have some Rad Scorpions, and as our characters get into place, I'm going to pause this here and highlight the two characters that are attacking the rad scorpion that is the foremost one so it may look like the guy with the dragon's maw in the back is attacking the one that's in the back but he's actually attacking the one that's in the front that's one of the kind of weird layout things in fallout shelter you have to get used to sometimes so as you can see he is firing on a rad scorpion that another character with the fire hydrant bat is also attacking that's important to pay attention to. Now as you can see, the character with the fire hydrant bat just kind of goes into the corner, doesn't do anything, and then the guy with the dragon's maw continued to help the other character that was attacking the other rad scorpion. Now that is a very telling gameplay mechanic, and we'll see it again here just in case it didn't really come across to you in that last video. So again, here we have each of the fire hydrant bat characters going against one of the rad scorpions. Then we have our dragon's maw character helping one of the guys that has the uh, rad scorpion. Now watch again as one of the rad scorpion is finished off. The guy with the fire hydrant bat just goes off in the corner, doesn't attack anymore, but the guy with the dragon's maw continues to attack. Now this is very important because it means that people with fire hydrant bats will not attack enemies that are already being taken care of. Now we have another demonstration here with two Mervs, and the third character has a Dragon's Maw. So here we have our first scenario with three Vault Dwellers going up against two Raiders, and an important thing to know about the Merv is that its damage is distributed amongst all enemies that are in a room. So say we're dealing 22 damage divided amongst these two enemies, that's 11 damage apiece, and if one is taken out, we'll deal the full 22 damage to the one that's left. Now, another important thing about the Merv is the explosion. As you can see here in this freeze frame, it is actually pretty big, and actually after a while it kind of gets a little obnoxious. When you first get the weapon, it's a really cool effect because all the ones you've had up to that point are just kind of uh, an on-point effect, and they're pretty contained. But uh, when you get the Merv and you get a whole room kind of with that explosion effect, it's really cool. After a while, though, I think it actually starts to get a little annoying. So, now that we've seen all three weapons, let's head back to the vault and I'll give you my opinion on which one I think is the best weapon. So, out of all three here, I would consistently choose the Dragon's Maw for both vault defense and for questing. It not only has the highest damage average of 25.5, but I also feel that its attack structure is the most efficient in the game. So, I'm going to give the Dragon's Maw the thumbs up here. Now, the Fire Hydrant Bat and the Merv are both great weapons, I just feel that the Dragon's Maw is more efficient. If you have any opinions on the matter, please leave them in the comments. I'll be sure to respond. And also, give me some ideas for future Vault Log episodes that you'd like to see. Also, if you're interested in more Fallout Shelter information, I've written a bunch of Fallout Shelter-themed articles on PressingX.com, so you may enjoy some of those. Anyways, thanks for watching this video, and have a great day.